Hey guys, welcome to the online waiter training class at the Waiters Academy. Today we are talking about types of service in the restaurant. Very short video. You have the PDF files. You can read all the information you need about the types of service on the course uh, at the website. And you have the additional videos with much more details about the types and about the procedures. Today it's going to be just the basics, just the main points of every one of those services so you can make the difference between French and Russian and English and American and um, what are the main points of every one of them. The simplest type of service in a restaurant is the American service. In American service you have the kitchen. The kitchen prepares the plates and we bring it to the table. That's why 99% of the restaurants in the world are using the American service. You have the kitchen, the cooks prepare everything, put the food on the plates, you take the plates and you bring it to the guest, serve it to the guest, and that's all you need to know about the American service. Go to the French service. The French service is the most elaborate, the most expensive, the most time-consuming service in the restaurant. That's why less than 1% of those restaurants are using French service. The problem is that you have to really train those waiters to perform in front of the guests some of the final preparation of the food, like flambe, like carving, like filleting, a lot of other things, preparing sauces, and uh, then put everything on the plate nicely, not just nicely, but exclusively, and bring it to the guest. So to train a waiter to be able to do all those things, it uh, costs money and costs time. And then imagine if this waiter quits in three months, you're screwed. So French service is only in the most exclusive fine dining restaurants in the world. And guests are paying really high price. What is French service basically? You have the kitchen. The kitchen prepares the food on a food platters the waiters take the food platters to the gueridon where all the plates are stacked the waiters do the final preparations Put the, all the food nicely on the plates and bring those plates to the guest table. That's why the French service is also called Gueridon service because the kitchen doesn't cook the food and prepares everything completely. The cook is partially, the food is partially cooked. Everything is put on the food platter. The waiters come to the kitchen, take the food platter. They present the food platter to the table first, so the guests see that what's going to happen now. Then bring the platter to the gueridon. The chef de rang, the head waiter, start preparing, start cooking the final preparations for the food, start making the sauces, then really really exclusively prepares some fine fine plates and then those plates are served to the guest that is the main steps of the french service like i said pdf files with a lot of more explanations and extra videos on the lesson you can read you can 
watch and you can learn more. And now you have the Russian service. The Russian service you find more in banquets, more in cruise lines, you know, catering events and stuff like that. There is a lot of common between the Russian and the French service, but there are a lot of differences too. In Russian service, for example, you don't have gerdons. The food is also prepared on the food platter in the kitchen. And it's taken to the table. And directly serve into the plates of the guest from the food platter. No final preparation on a gerridon. Everything is prepared in the kitchen. You just bring it to a food platter and you serve it with a fork and spoon and directly to the guest. Basically, guys, this is all you need to know for a job interview when they ask you what is a Food, uh, what is a Russian service, what is a French service, what is an American service um, and of course for your own knowledge and um, self-esteem. Read the PDF files, everything is explained much, much more in details with pictures and everything that should be um, the extra video is with the procedures, what they do, how they do it, when they do it, uh, the servers. So make sure that you prepare yourself. Uh, most probably you will be working in American service restaurants most of your life. Those two, this is the fastest, the easiest service. That's why we use that when we have some catering events, when we have weddings, when we have banquets, uh, um, business parties on the cruise line also because everybody is eating the same food and we know exactly what to prepare the table for and then the kitchen just put the platter or put on the platter we just bring it there you can serve at the same time a whole table of 10 people with the food platter just go around and uh, that's the really quickest and easiest uh, service that uh, a restaurant can apply but it's only when everybody is eating the same thing while in French service, you still have a la carte. You bring the card to the guest. They choose what they want to eat. Then you take the order to the kitchen. The kitchen makes the preparation. Put it on the platter. Bring it to the gerridon. You make the final preparation. And then you serve it to the guest. All those guests on this table can eat different things. And you have to be able to prepare this food for them. Serve it. Make sure that everybody enjoy it. So this is all you need to know. French service, Russian service, American service are the services that we use in the restaurant. English service, you're not gonna find nowhere uh, in the restaurant right now. Usually that's what you do in a private parties uh, at home. And that's why we're not talking about it right now. I have talked about English service on the extra videos and you have also some explanation on the PDF files, but pretty much this is all we need to know because this is the services that you will be working uh, in a restaurant once you hit the floor. Thank you guys. Um, stay out of trouble, make good money, work hard, learn fast, and I'll see you soon. Ciao.